Hello, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to my stream. Can you let me know if the sound is all good, etc.? You know the drill. Hey, Zara. How are you guys doing? I'm streaming on Twitch as well, in case you want to watch over there. It's always nice to have people over there, too. Double checking that um, everything's working, and then I'm gonna get to work on the, the comic. Hi, Alex. How are you guys? What's everyone doing today on this? Is it a bank holiday Monday for you guys? It's a bank holiday for me. Is the music good? Is it loud enough? Is it quiet? Because last time I thought it was loud enough, and it was. I watched it back, and it was quite quiet. So I was like. Is that too quiet? Yeah. <laughs> so how is everyone? Just about to sit down and work on some art myself. Nice. Just finished your other stream whilst working on my comic. Awesome. Welcome. Hey everybody, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So I'm going to work on this cover today, um, I did some last night, it come out super dark because I've been using uh, um, like these inks and also a white gouache and Posca pens at the moment but I'm trying to, I'm going to be working on it today to try and lighten it up a bit and add like lots more details so it looks similar to this one that we worked on the last stream. So I think the title will be like around here and this will be the night, the nighttime scene and th this will be the daytime one. Obviously I have to lighten this up but I'm going to work on it today so hopefully, hopefully it will look cool. It's not a holiday there, oh sorry. <laughs> This music, again, is the Mini Smalls um, playlist that she made on Epidemic Sounds. And I can link the, the playlist in case anyone's interested. Because last time a lot of people liked this, and I liked it as well, so... Probably you guys will enjoy listening to it in your own time. I see a lot of Posca pens and I feel poor, yeah. Um, well, I got, <laughs> I was about to say, I got these in Singapore, so they're a bit cheaper, but I managed to get to Singapore when I bought them, so I guess that's expensive. Uh, I don't know, where my sharpener's gone? There it is. Hey, Megaya. Hi, everyone. Hi, if you just joined, I'm working on the cover today for the day type comic the slow disappearance is the name of it and this one is wishing on a star and they're going to be like a duology comic set i'm going to do a kickstarter soon so i'm working on the the covers and then i'll have everything ready to start editing it all together on photoshop to get the files ready for printing so super exciting times Hey, uh, Adina. Hey, Color Holtz, how are you? You caught a live stream, yes. Everyone's here today. I don't know why my camera says Logi in the bottom corner is kind of annoying me. Because I've got Logi Tech camera. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I don't want you branding yourself on my stream, thanks. Like, you know, rude. <laughs> How you doing, Miguel? Oh, I should make Colorholt say um, admin as well. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, now a moderator. Not that my channel needs much moderation. We're pretty chill here. Sky is 
Yeah, this is this is all done on printer paper, which is like <laughs> a bit crazy because I've pretty much abused this paper, but it's kind of holding up, which is a bit nuts because it's like what? <laughs> this shouldn't be how it's working. Oh yeah, editing a video, mega cool. What's your video about? What is your video about today? I need to find the reference that I was working on this with. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? I'm changing the reference a bit because I want the sun to be like here, even though that probably looks a bit strange because that's where the clouds are, but you know, I want to have a similar balance of like the moon there and the sun there on each image typing and I, I hope that that will work out. I don't know if I pinned the reference that I was working on yesterday for this, which is really clever, isn't it? It's just so... Oh, I have. I'm... Have I? <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't. Ugh, how annoying. Thank you, sugar and blue. I think it's sugar, but there's no you, so. No. I'm just trying to find my reference picture that I was working off yesterday. And I think it's lost forever. It should be in my history, right? Hmm. I feel like the music's too loud, but when I watched the other stream back, it was too quiet, so I'm like, hmm. I love how, like, if I look at my history, Pinterest is just like, it's Pinterest that you looked at. I'm like, yeah, thanks, I know, but what's the, the image? <laughs> I guess we can just find something else. It's not a biggie. Is there an estimate how long the stream will be? Um, probably like an hour. It depends, like if I get in, like if I get into it. Because the last stream I planned to stream not very long, and then I was like, stream for like three hours. <laughs> Which is a long time for me. I think that's like probably one of the longest streams. Okay, it's not too loud, not too soft. Good, 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 good. But you know what? This is not gonna work because I need my the image that I was. I think it was English countryside that I looked at. Oh. So, anybody working on stuff today? When you said um, imitate monkeys, I was like, oh, what's that game? I haven't heard of that. And then I realized that you meant they're just making like monkey noises. <laughs> oh, I found it. Hooray. Okay. I really want to add like more pinks to this um, image as well. Will Emily is burning be back? Um, yeah, I hope so. Uh, I want to reprint them again. And I was hoping for this Kickstarter to have like a bundle in case people missed out so they can get all three comics together, even though these two are like sister comics. Um, that one will be like <laughs> added as well, I guess. It, this is looking quite dark on camera, by the way. I think it's lighter in person. Again, I have to make that stipulation. I'm working on my easter eggs, yep. I did that and then I regretted everything. Because I've been trying to diet for like a month. Well, try I have been dieting for a month. And then yet, yeah, like the weekend came, Easter weekend, and I was like, whatever. <laughs> I ate whatever I wanted. That's okay, we could have a little diet break and get back to it. Working on client work, nice. 
and homework for illustrating picture book. Cool. Working since no holiday, but after doing, but doing some art afterwards. Cool. Nice one. Designing an elf character. Sweet deal. Organizing my wardrobe. That that just made me like internally groan because it's like I feel that pain of organizing stuff. We have a lot of stuff out right now and we need to organize it, but we're just kind of like putting it off. And I'm like, well, I want to work on my comics today. It's my bank holiday. <laughs> but I should be organizing stuff because I know I won't have time tomorrow when I'm working. Just finish your driving lesson. Nice. How'd it go? Sometimes everything just gets hard. I've listened to this album a couple times. Well, not album. Playlist a couple times now. And I'm just like, now really like the music. I want the sun to go here. But I think it's going to look really odd. But... I'm gonna put lots of light here. I'm trying to kind of copy this style that I have here, where I've done like lots of different colors that you probably wouldn't really see. As well, you wouldn't really see clouds like here above the earth at this distance, but we're doing a little bit of a, um, what's the word? Artistic license, so. Organizing my digital, Digital clutter is next. Oh, like organizing stuff is so nice once it's done. Like you feel so good, but it is so hard because like um, <laughs> I just realized I was like repeating what the song is saying. It's so hard at first, and especially like throwing stuff out. You guys experience that where you're just like, I need to throw stuff out. It's old, and I haven't used it for months and months and months, or like give it away and effort. So boring, yes. Extremely boring. It's easier to just shove everything in the cupboard and hope that it's fine. <laughs> Pray for the best. Good luck with organising your stuff. I love organising stuff. I love organising stuff when I have space. Otherwise it's just throwing stuff out. Writing a 10 page lesson on leadership. Yikes. I hate essays. I hated them so much. I hope that you enjoy writing essays. I need to do that, like, organise all my digital stuff on my work computer, because that is just... We have to upload stuff to, like, an external server and uh, it takes a while because you have to upload it and then wait for all the files to upload and then check that they've actually uploaded and then delete the stuff off your computer so you have space and um, yeah I've been putting that off for like <laughs> a couple weeks don't tell my boss <laughs> and uh, yeah I should do it properly because my computer every five minutes is like we've run out of space scratch disks are full I'm like ugh slowly do it Nugget knife, knife, <laughs> nugget knight. I had, I really had to use my brain and think there. Yeah, it's a lot of work. why I put it off a little bit. It shouldn't be though. 
It'll be total. Lovely art, thank you. Will there be prints available in the Kickstarter? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a image of one of the characters as well, like in like flowers or and then the other one in in stars, like somehow I don't know. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing some character portraity stuff as well as prints. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do think like it's nicer to hang or put up like um, landscapes, but that could just be my personal preference. I, so I think like maybe other people would like that more as well. I'm not sure. I also do, I do like character prints, so I don't know what I'm on about because I've got like a few character prints hang, hung up. I think like a couple of you have asked that same question, so I think I should uh, make these prints as well. If this one works out, I like how it's looking, but I think with these ones they have a massive like ugly stage. So it's like you have to really push through. Like this one, I spent hours on trying to fix it, make it look okay. And it was like not looking good at all for ages. So I was like, am I wasting my time? But I pushed through a lot. Hey Vagabond, thank you. Welcome to the stream. We're working on the covers for the comics at the moment. Possible covers, because I'm not sure how this one's gonna work out yet. I'm hoping good. I love these chill streams. Yeah, we're just we're just chilling. This is the song I like the most, I think. everyone's Easter if you celebrate Easter. Do you get lots of chocolate eggs? We went for a lunch with my family that I can see who live in Gibraltar. Like my parents live in Spain so we can't see them because they haven't been vaccinated yet because Spain is like quite slow on the vaccinations but everywhere in Gibraltar like everyone has been vaccinated basically. Um, yeah. So we're able to go out with caution obviously but it was a bit like sad without my parents I guess not I guess it was <laughs> we still had a nice time but yeah a scene for us no 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 that was an accident <laughs> This sister lives in London. She's a teacher in London. So we haven't seen her in like since Christmas 2019. So that's kind of sad. Why do I keep saying kind of? That is sad. <laughs> it's such a weird thing. But hopefully she's coming for my wedding in two months, which will be nice. And she's had her first vaccine, which is really good. I think in the UK they're like stretching out the doses of the vaccine a little bit so like a lot more 
because apparently it's more effective, but I guess they, they don't 100% know that for like a fact, but yeah. You can sing well, accent or not. Oh, thank you. Well, maybe I've got a little career. <laughs> We went to the out in the woods barbecue. Nice. That sounds good. I worked over Easter, but one of my pharmacists bought us chocolates. Oh, that's a win. Do you get like a day in lieu as well if you work holidays kind of thing? We, we used to have this thing where it was like if it was a bank holiday, you could opt in to work it and then get the day in lieu like another time. And like it, it seemed like a good deal because if you worked bank holidays, there's not really anyone in, so there wouldn't be much work to do, so you'd just sit around like watching watching stuff or chilling. And now it's like, well, we don't have that option anymore, but yeah, it seemed like that was a good plan. I never did it though, because whenever a bank holiday came up, I was like, I want that bank holiday. <laughs> but my, my friends at work used to do it, and they said it was really good, because you could just chill. I guess that's not really the same as in pharmacy as design. <laughs> pharmacy? What am I talking about? Yeah. What am I? On a bay up. Hello! You've reached the stream. You made it. We're working on the comic covers if you just joined. Potential comic cover. Because if this turns out bad, then obviously it won't be, but we're trying, we're trying. It looks so dark on the camera. But I think it will look cool when it's done. Hopefully. hospitals are open every day yes that make that makes sense <laughs> as I was saying it I was like mm, it's probably not the same is it double pay that's good though double pay is good Lizbeth, Lizbeth, you told me yesterday and I still got it wrong. Yesterday? When did I stream? Saturday. I'm also streaming on Twitch if anybody wants to drop by and uh, give me a pity follow. Because I would love to be able to um, stream on there every now and then. Because I have such like, um, well not big audience watching the streams. I think it's letting me stream on both, but usually like you wouldn't be allowed to do that, but I really like Twitch. I think it's super chill over there. I'm completely new here. What's the comic about? So <laughs> everyone else is like, no, not again. Um, there's two comics, they're sister comics, so like a duology. And one is called Wishing on a Star, which is this one. And one is called The Disappearance or The Slow Disappearance. I haven't completely set on those titles yet and yeah so they're gonna have like a day and night um kind of vibe to them just because i think that will look cute and then um yeah these are the covers for them this is obviously wishing on a star and this is the um slow disappearance and uh i'm liking it so far it needs to it needs to uh be lighter of course but you know what i'm gonna get this Bosca. I was watching um, In the Line of Duty, if you guys have seen that, it's like a British pr procedural drama, I think you call it, about like um, dodgy cops and yeah, you guys have probably heard of it, um, but I've never watched it before, so I was watching it last night whilst I was working on this, and I was really, really enjoying it. Finished season one, and it's really good. Hey, T-Man. The cases are really high here. Oh, sorry to hear that. 
hopefully we're coming out of this dark time thank you i mean i would explain the story a little bit more like go into the story but i think they are like they're short comics so the if i go into the story it would be kind of like explaining the whole story a little bit but one of this uh regency era type comic and the other is set in the 90s and she kind of wishes on star and then it's a little bit more way more abstract and a little bit more like existen existential dread kind of based fear for this one mixed with claustrophobia and this one is more like a creepy tale i think that explains it a little bit or oh, i hope it does anyway yeah, stay safe. What well, is the, what's the, like, the vaccine? Is it coming to India soon or, like, where you are? I know there's been a lot of delays for some people, so. Hey, Millie. Thank you. Yeah, we got a lot of viewers today. Nice. Almost double what we had yesterday. Why do I keep saying yesterday, Saturday? <laughs> What's she on about? That girl is crazy. Me, I mean. This song sounds like that. Mm -hmm. Seen Invincible, yeah, we're watching it. Uh, I I kind of didn't watch like the first episode because Chris was watching it, and I was like, "Oh, another superhero thing." I can't really be bothered um, with it. But then I, I could see it in the background, or like I could hear it, and then I got kind of interested. So we're watching it weekly as well. I'm still tentatively watching it because. I'm in that mood where I just want to watch like comfort shows like The Office over and over again instead of like starting new stuff because yeah yeah I was enjoying it I think it's a bit like heavy oh, sorry I just keep sniffling holiday smash all days together yeah for sure well, they have vaccines, but pretty bad side effects. Really? For us, it's, um, what vaccines do you have there? Because if they're the same as ours, the, the side effects are not bad. They're just, you get a bit fluey. I've had both doses of vaccine and boyfriends getting second on Saturday. That's awesome. People would join to be sure to like the video. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for uh, shouting that out. I tend not to like to tell people to subscribe. I feel really awkward doing it, but so yeah. Thanks for saying it for me. They've recently, YouTube for the views have been like really, really bad for me, and uh, I've not been like. Um, getting like any money really like a little bit for but it's not really equal to the amount of work if that makes sense like I don't know why it's just been really bad and uh, like obviously I like YouTube and I did it for like two years without earning any money so any money really is kind of a bonus but I'm feeling pretty burnt out with YouTube a little bit so that's why I'm like streaming a bit more I think I need some water my pinks. Anybody who does YouTube will know that feeling. It's like it does get super tiring after a while. 
but this is nice like we have like a chill stream and everyone can just chat Back, it's happened something horrible. What? <laughs> Hello, Madeline. I assume you heard the end of the episode, it gets crazy like boring, then boom. Yeah. The first episode, or well, the second episode, I'm not sure which one it was. I was like, what? <laughs> All the games are the same every week. I've been home for more than two years with chronic illness. Oh, sorry to hear that. Look after yourself. I'm not really sure, but people are scared to get the vaccine. Yeah, I mean, that's like the same everywhere, isn't it? Like a lot of people are just like, oh, I don't want the vaccine. And it's like, well, would you rather have COVID? Like, what, what do you mean? Or would you rather give COVID to someone you love and them like die from it is just to me it's a non-brainer but some people are really really way too paranoid about like what the government wants to do with it and it's nuts in in gibraltar somebody like put up a sign being like um do not discriminate the unvaccinated i was like i'm gonna discriminate you like if you turned it down like i'm gonna say that you're dumb sorry like, if you have the option to get it, and millions of people want it, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Same here, I've been doing it almost a year, and one minute my views were good, and then suddenly not anymore. Yeah, exactly, it's so weird, it's just the algorithm, I guess. And as well, like, you can have a video that does badly and then it affects like the next week even though even if you do like a better video etc it's just exhausting it's, like try not i try not to focus on the numbers and stuff but you know and you put a lot of effort in something you want it to do well so it's just like sometimes a bit tiring but yeah these streams are good i am all dosed up and it was no issue at all yeah exactly there's so much evidence to prove now that the vaccine is fine and good and people are like oh we don't know the long-term effects it's like well all the science is you know <laughs> proven that there's not going to be bad long-term effects people are like oh it messes with your dna well going out in the sunlight messes with your dna like you know come on people let's get rid of this covid let's get back to normal or as normal as we can We have a problem with a Russian propaganda radio. They will scare the older use. Why? <laughs> Why do they scare people into that? That doesn't make sense to me. Oh yeah, yeah. I think like this conversation is pretty depressing. <laughs> it's like, ugh. well, come on, people. It's like a. We can get rid of this thing. I guess for me, it's. A war an issue like there's not enough at the moment or they're slowly rolling it out like for my parents they're both in their 70s and living in Spain so I really want them to get it like all the rest of my family have had it and like obviously I feel happy about that but it's not I'm not as worried about them as I am my parents so it's like yeah like some people had side effects as well um well the second dose is I think kind of bad you have like fluey side effects but i would take mild fluey symptoms to actually having covid or giving covid to somebody somebody i love russian propaganda is still running here terrible i don't understand where's here by the way Yeah, exactly, Miguel. It's just 
I just don't understand it. After like a year of lockdown, you'd think people would be like, yes, give me anything to get back to normal, but there we go. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for um, Lizbeth. Trying to get it, uh, trying to fix the detail on it a bit more. Like, I want to add more trees and stuff. So it's going to take a little bit of time to fix it, but hopefully this is like kind of the ugly stage because this area is a bit odd here and here and stuff. <laughs> so I want to fix it a bit. I had MR and I vaccine mixed by me. <laughs> Mixed for me by my lovely co-worker, so there you go. I'm actually way more afraid of the virus's long-term effects, exactly. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that your nan is getting the vaccine tomorrow. I'm glad to see that there's lots of sensible people in the comments here. I started speaking about it, I was like, mm, am I going to get people being like, no, I don't want the vaccine, and that's going to depress me, but no, everyone's pretty sensible. <laughs> I'm glad to see it. And we have a real-life pharmacist in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, Megaya. <laughs> Is that right? Are you a pharmacist? Is that the right term? I should play the music again. Should we have the same music again or something different? I like the Rains in California songs, so I'm going to play that. I don't know why I'm speaking so fast, I've just had a... <laughs> a coffee with two espresso shots in it so I'm like ah. I'm gonna calm down I'm gonna calm down guys where is it this one I like this one first Posco, so low-key making notes of how you use them. I mean, I wouldn't take notes on how I use any art materials, because I I probably don't use them how you're supposed to, really. I just kind of go for stuff. Big fan of mark making. Aww. <laughs> uh. Pharmacy technician, cool. We have a pharmacy technician here, guys. Pretty sweet. Pretty impressed by that. Pharmacist extra light. <laughs> People roaming around without masks, yeah, painful. Well, it's not espresso shots, it's I usually have an Americano, but I've recently taken to drinking... I don't know why I'm showing you it. <laughs> I've taken to drinking a bit of, like, normal coffee. And so I've had, like... This is a mocha latte? Semi-skim milk, and then two shots of coffee. So it's not espresso, but... I guess it is, but... Yeah. I need a little bit of a kick sometimes. still listen to like whatever you want on um twitch because they had this whole thing didn't they <sighs> you have lots of talent thank you this is looking so dark on screen but it is a lot greener here and here Here, like, 
trying realism and it's going that it isn't going that bad nice i thought you said it's going bad i was like oh <laughs> How are you and Pesto and Co? Oh, not me. <laughs> Pesto's fine, she's sitting next to me on this chair. Um, I think Kubo and Gigi are in the bedroom, sleeping. And Chris is on his computer near me playing Final Fantasy or something. Oh, that is making such a noise. I'm just gonna grab some water um, and inks. brush and there's like loads of rubbish in it and I can't remember why <laughs> like what did I use this for I'm trying to think I'm not impressed with myself for not cleaning that brush use this paper a bit more by using wet inks and in case anybody doesn't know I'm just using printer paper for this so it shouldn't really be letting me do this song very much. YouTube our community doesn't care yeah I mean I'm saying it more as like I'm shocked <laughs> that it's doing quite well holding up to all this stuff that I'm putting on it today yeah I'm off work today it's a bank holiday here so quite lucky had a four-day weekend back to work tomorrow not looking forward to it 
but last week my manager was off work so I kind of like um, took over his role for the week and uh, yeah I'm glad that he's back tomorrow <laughs> basically just gonna mute for a sec okay no problemo I'll probably post this um, drawing later on Instagram. The Instagram, my Instagram should be link in the bio. Link in the bio. There's a link in my description in case you guys want to check out how this turns out if I don't finish it during the stream, which I might not because it takes kind of a long time to finish it up. Do please check out my Twitch as well. I'm gonna be plugging myself a little bit there. I have this start. Why did your comment not come up on my page? Oh, I was not looking at the multi stream stream chat. Sorry. Can someone comment in my Twitch to just see if the, the comment comes up? Uh, the Twitch stream chat, just to see if a comment comes up on my stream labs, because I just want to check that I'm not missing anyone's comments there. If it's possible. Sorry to be a pain, guys. I'm just waiting for this to dry, so I'm checking stuff. This is looking cool, though. Um, you probably can't see the colours too well. It's just kind of irritating that it comes up so dark. Okay, yeah, I can see. I can see you. Thank you for commenting. Pog. Poggers. Super Pogs. Okay, I'm trying a different playlist now. Not sure, it might be too much for us. We might go back to our safe zone of um, <laughs> Mini Smalls is uh, Playlist. I keep forgetting the name of playlist. Can someone comment on YouTube as well? I just want to see if the multi-stream thing works. Where it's telling me, it's showing me comments from both Twitch and YouTube. So I know that I'm not missing anything. Six, six, six. Ooh, I feel like it is not working. Can someone say something in the chat on YouTube? Everyone's gonna say something at once now. <laughs> yes, it works, hooray, okay, cool. Just wanted to check that that was working. Thank you. Okay. All good guys, thanks. Actually gonna quickly run to the loo and I will be right back.
and I spilt a little bit of water. <laughs> What are we thinking about this music, by the way? Is it working for us or is it too, a little bit too intense? I feel like it's a bit disco. Hello, su supper horse? Supper horse. Oh no, I think you said hi because I asked you to say hi. <laughs> I totally forgot I did that. I'm gonna change the music. Hmm. What are we thinking? We like this? It was a bit cool for us, wasn't it? <laughs> for our, our, our chill art stream. This one is a bit crazy beat. I think I'm just gonna put back on the mini small <laughs> so look we tried to branch out it didn't work for us um wait jazz is art jam mm, i feel like this is a bit intense for us as well okay i kind of like this one Feel the paper a bit thin here, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Boxes are defeat. Purpose always sleep. I pose questions to the ceiling like an ant are gonna come to this <laughs> Like it's easy concealing all the motions to the star on your heart going on. I shouldn't be in dry for. I just wanna feel alive for. I feel hurt all the time, but I can't see straight. I've been running on the freeway. Hello Nico, welcome to the stream. Please raid me. I um can't raid on YouTube, I think that's not a thing. <laughs> I know, probably only have like two followers on a um, Twitch if I leave it, so <laughs> probably not the best thing to Yeah, it's like weird, but I like it as well. <laughs> like the guy sounds a bit strange, but I, I like it.
this the same song again? I think it is. Yes. Instrumental version. Probably what we w wanted. Hmm, what do I want? What do I want? to Chris Brogan's nose. I guess I just drowned that out now. I'm used to it. <laughs> He's got one of those crazy, like, man sneezes as well. Super annoying. <laughs> he can't hear me. He's got his headphones on. Oh, no. I don't know if you'll be able to see it better, but the colours are looking mad dim on the, um, the camera, but they're not, like, this is quite greener than it looks, so, not sure why it's looking like that, but, again, if you guys want to see how this turns out, follow me on Instagram, and I will be posting it there, when it's done, if it's done, if it's something I like. Colors so muddy on my what's happening? Uh, I don't understand, you know, like sometimes the colors just look really murky on the webcam. Maybe if I open the window, pull the curtains a little bit. Be too bright. That's way too bright. <laughs> but can you see the, the colours a little better? Uh, 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 uh. Whatever. I'll close the curtains again. That was an unfortunate choice, I think. Thinking about moving my desk and everything. better spot i'd love to have like a room for just a studio but we've only got a one 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 bed uh flat so unfortunately we can't have a studio one day maybe the streams are always so relaxing thank you welcome you guys enjoy the streams definitely want to stream more just I think I go through phases of being like I don't want to stream I'm scared sometimes you just don't like feel like being artistic and then you have to be artistic on camera and it's like what Yeah, the, the colours change when I open the curtains. It's so, it's really annoying actually because obviously I want to show you guys the real colours and it's a lot different. Where's my phone? Because maybe I can do something. One sec. Thank you. 
like old woman me. So yeah, let me just see if the light helps. It doesn't. <laughs> it still looks like a dark mess. It's really strange because it's such a light green. So if anybody knows webcams, then help me out, please. Why is my knee cr cr creaking? I'm not an old woman, I swear. I mean, I can't form English sentences either most of the time, so I think you'd be fine. <laughs> Hands look great though, lol. <laughs> if only the colours were right. Maybe if I move this. Hold up. Did that actually do something? Can you please show them the real colours? Oh well. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> Trying. That did like make it lighter though. Maybe if I do this. It's a little bit lighter, right? I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna stop. I mean, if I was watching this and then I got a print of this, I would like that because it's like, oh, I was there when she was making it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just talking absolute garbage here, but I think that's kind of interesting, right, for you guys? I don't know. Hey, Shereya. Shereya? Oof. We struggled with that one. Apologize. True colours. Well, you don't see the true colours because my webcam is apparently rubbish. <laughs> it might be the internet, but I, I think it's the webcam. I'm trying to see if maybe I can change it on Logitech. Mm hmm. Interesting. Resolution. You do full HD, please. How could you? I just realised the resolution was not HD. I do not want the watermark. Thank you. Good. Glad I figured that out. Mm. Water focus. Is that looking a bit better? Oh my god, the white balance. That's why. Those are probably like more the real colours even though it's looking a bit orange on the desk there we go that's a bit better isn't it it's this one like even though it's a little bit orange you can actually see the colours a little bit better Okay, I think that <laughs> that did it. It's a little bit orange around, but at least you can see what the the actual colours are trying to be a little bit more. Do you prefer that? I will get a copy. Nice, thank you. I think that looks much better. If we if you guys can stand the orange. Nice. Can't believe I actually figured that out after what is it, four hours of streaming altogether?
Thank you, Supper Horse. 28. Great name. Ooh, sniffles. Oh dear. Sneeze, really. <laughs> How do you color your clouds with lots of effort, time, and patience, and uh, knowing that you need to push through the pain of it looking ugly? Oh my gosh, I can't stop sniffling now. Like this foreground bit being a bit in like silhouette. We'll grab a tissue. Thanks. Your voice is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> really? If you guys have just joined, we are working on the cover of the comic. We'll try to anyway. We'll see if this is how it turns out.
Thank you, Mooney Art. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> kind of paints are you currently using um so I've been using these inks oh it's very blurry uh, I can't pronounce it because it is in German I can't quite get it to focus but yeah I've been using those inks um, they're from like Heilika's online store, the, the kind of the inks that she uses. And then I've been using Posca pens and pencils and all sorts of stuff. Um, oh, I've also been using, for the clouds, I used a gouache white in the light areas and then watered it down in certain areas. So there's lots of stuff going on. Um, but yeah, that's how kind of what I've been using. Mixed media, I guess, is the answer. for your calm words. Might be shaken but not stirred. Just a lesson that I've learned. And so it goes. Hey, look, I think this like comic duology I've had a real chance to like play a lot with everything that I've been using. And um yeah, I just I've really enjoyed the process of it this time so I'm just like pretty happy with it all I need 
get some like more trees in this. the diners and um do you mean like the motel stuff kind of um basically i just kept putting that off and i felt like i don't know it wasn't something wasn't clicking for me with that story i couldn't get it to work and then i think like the using gouache to paint every single panel was a bit ambitious so it was like putting me off it a lot. Um, so instead I thought like, okay, I'll do something different and then maybe return to that in the future to see if it can go anywhere. Because all I had really in my head was like, oh, I want to do um, this idea of these people going to the motel but then the story kept changing, kept being like, Oh, it's a woman and her daughter, or it's a woman and her niece, or it's a woman by herself, or it's this, she's running away from her husband, or, you know, it kept changing, the mother, the story kept changing, and I couldn't decide, like, what I wanted to do. So maybe, like, after this project, I can figure that story out a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. I wouldn't say that it's definitely never going to happen, because I still do have, like, that idea in my head, but... It's just, I need to think about it a bit more, plan it a bit more. You thought this was a video, lol. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I guess so. When did I start writing it? Um, sure, I'm trying to remember when I started it. This one. I think I started these ones like October last year. Started thinking like seriously about doing them, about what the stories would be. And I kept thinking like I need to have three stories because I want them to be like a book of three stories and it slowly turned into two because I couldn't think of a third one um, and then I realized you know what's wrong with doing two instead of three if, if it's putting me off doing it like I should just do three uh, two so yeah that's what's happened and uh, I think I took a long time to write them because I put off writing them so as I wrote them, I wrote them really, really quickly. And then as I did the the thumbnails, I worked more in the story with the thumbnails because I felt like the writing of it was putting me off a bit at the time. So instead of like doing a really detailed script like I did with Emily is Burning, I just kind of um, went for it with the thumbnails and stuff. And then the story kind of growed, grew as I, as I do the thumbnails and stuff. If that makes sense so yeah it's been a while working on these comics and I would say once I started like once I had the thumbnails the script everything like that the preliminary work done the actual doing the comic was just they took about three weeks for each comic to finish 
like off, working after work in the in, in in the evenings once I got in the flow of doing that I really I was enjoying what I was doing so it was kind of easy to go and do it so that's <laughs> that's kind of the the thing so even though like the final doing of it only took maybe a couple of months it's been a long time doing lots of work here and there love your channel thank you how many stories do you usually have floating around your head uh probably quite a lot but then whether they're good or whether they're just whether they're a full idea is like a different story you know what i mean like i'll have an idea of a story and then be like that's a bit stupid so Sometimes when I have nightmares, I'm like, ooh, what, could I make that into a horror comic? <laughs> like last night, I had a nightmare about these um, dolphins, but they weren't dolphins, they were like, <laughs> sounds so stupid saying it aloud, but they were like these big dolphins and they were like risen up from the water like this. <laughs> and it was like, if they get near you, they'll decapitate you. <laughs> like these giant dolphin things. And uh, we were trying to escape them. <laughs> and I was like, woke up, I was like, could I make a horror comic of that? It's like, no. <laughs> no. The answer is no, that sounds stupid. <laughs> so funny. You know when you have nightmares on it at the time, in your nightmare you're like, this is scary, and then you wake up and you're like, that was a bit stupid. <laughs> Love the kind of choices that I'm in America just woke up. Hello, welcome. Menacing dolphin. Well, they were like whale dolphin things. I don't know. They were like this. I'm going to draw them for you. <laughs> See, this is the water. They were like out of the water like this, but like super menacing. And they were like giants, so we were like this big swimming in the water. And we were like, if they see you, they will decapitate you. <laughs> with their mouths <laughs> you jump out of the water and like <laughs> so funny <laughs> stupid <laughs> oh so funny yeah but in my dream I was like because I think I was trying to help someone get away from them so I was like swim go now they're not looking <laughs> and I woke up like oh that was a bit scary maybe I could make a cut no I would love to do an underwater like comic though because I think the ocean is pretty scary like obviously so it's a good thing to explore but then I don't want to like make anyone scared of the ocean if you get what I mean yeah whale fins evil killer whales that killer whale dolphins that decapitate you <laughs> Oh, that is kind of scary actually, think about it. You can't get away from them. It's kind of like Jaws though. <laughs> I don't know why my, my brain goes when I'm sleeping. It's like, let's dream of this. <laughs> so weird. Anyone joining the stream right now is like, what? <laughs> If you want nightmares, Google humble squid. I don't know how to say that. Okay. I don't find squ squids that scary. Like, everyone's like, the giant squid. I'm like, meh. Because I just feel like I would never be, never be in a place where there is a giant squid. I did say giant squids would destroy you. Yeah, but I would never be in a place with a giant squid. That's the thing. Whereas my decapitating whale dolphins... They, they come near the shore. So that's pretty scary, guys. Come on. Not judging. I had a, <laughs> I had a dream of a grilled cheese sandwich attacking me. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I've seen... I see the squid, and I don't find it that scary, to be honest. I, I think if I was in the water with it... Because, like, would a squid attack you? If you were just swimming near it? Like, I feel like it wouldn't want... You know, like, sharks want to take a bite of you sometimes. They're like, maybe I'll bite you. Just to 
just to try it, just to give a little taster. And then they're like, meh, you taste gross. Whereas a squid, I think they would just be like, get away from me. I don't know, I don't know. Dolphins are great animals, guys. We ain't out here to poo on dolphins. I live in Gibraltar, dolphins are a big deal here. We have a lot of dolphins in the bay. In uh, the summer, because Chris's parents have like a small boat, we went out on the boat and we saw a basking shark, which literally looks like a, a great white shark. And we were like, it's a great white. And then we were like, no, it's not, no, it's not. It's a basking shark. Um, I actually have a video on my channel if you want to see what that looks like. But it was, at the time it was like, but we don't know for sure. <laughs> it could be a killer whale because, not killer whale, great white because they're not common in Gibraltar, but they have been here before, you know, when they lose their way or whatever. So we were like, maybe it is, we don't know. Because <laughs> basking sharks are obviously um, harmless. But still pretty scary, I wouldn't want to get in the water with one. It was massive, it was like, yeah, it was awesome. Have you got a vid when you draw animals? No, I don't. I'm afraid. Yeah, go and watch it. It's pretty cool. Um, actually, let me see if I can find it because it was in the summer. Um, it was pretty cool. I think it was like the first time, uh, like we were out of the house since lockdown as well. And we saw the. Sh <laughs> we went on a boat and we saw a shark. It was like nuts. Yeah, Chris's dad was like, okay, let's see what else we can find. And we were like, this is the first time we've ever seen something this cool in the bay. <laughs> Why are we going away? I don't know where it's gone, the video. We never, saw it again, we never saw it again. And then I went swimming straight after. Yeah. Oh, absolutely nuts. Well, I thought basking shark's not really going to harm me and then it was far away. I'm trying to find it. Ah, uh, here it is. I was thinking I would have put the shark in like the thumbnail, but then again, that doesn't make sense, does it? I will link it in the YouTube description. I mean, chat. In case you're interested. It was cool. So I would love to, yeah, do a comic, a horror comic about something in the ocean, but like I said, I don't want to contribute to people being scared of the sea or whatever, because I think there's, obviously it's quite scary. There's scary stuff out there, like anything, but I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have to be a horror. They mess with other fish playing games with them. What do? Dolphins are like teenagers. Uh, okay. I think dolphins are really clever as well. Oh, okay, let me show you the shark. I'll copy the, the time of the video where the shark, the, not the shark. Yeah, basking shark turns up in case you're interested. Hi from Japan, wow. Where in Japan are you from? We really want to visit again. Ooh, sleepy now. Songs a bit lols. You know what? I think it's time for the Mini Smalls album again because I like that. Where's she gone? Much better. In that video, you can also see like. Gibraltar to where I live and stuff. I'm 
shark. <laughs> I'm just watching my own video now. I'm like, whoa, that is a massive shark. <laughs> Make a horror comic set for the this perspective of the ocean's inhabitants versus the humans. Ooh, probably. <laughs> Everyone's got like loads of ideas. Are you living near Osaka? Is that where the um, Super Mario World is opening? I can't remember. If it's Osaka. Yeah, where is that opening? I thought it was Osaka, but now I'm like questioning, questioning it. I also, if anyone knows, do you know Tutamatoshi? The dress designer. I got a dress from them recently and it was a bit small so I emailed them being like hi it's small can I return it and get the same dress again like a bigger size and they've just emailed me saying I can and so I'm pretty happy about that because it, they're like quite expensive so I didn't want to waste you know I mean I am dieting but I want to wear it now <laughs> So I just got an email from them, so I'm excited. Beautiful dresses on there, if you know them. I think also like doing an ocean. Oh yeah, it's Universal Studios near Osaka. Okay, cool. I wanna visit sometime. Like, when we can. I definitely want to visit um, Universal Studios there. I don't know what I was saying now. Oh well. What it looked like. Uh, let me show you her website. Because it, like, the dresses are beautiful. So I'm happy that I can return it and get, like, ones that fit me. Because I was, like, in love with the dress. And, um, yeah, they're pretty expensive, so don't judge me. But it's something that I've had my eye on for, like, ages. So I was like, I'm getting one. Screw it. How do you blend colour pencils? Um, I don't really. If you look here, I would just like kind of just leave them. <laughs> Anna Reid, I love that video. Was like, we saw a big shark boy. <laughs> we went swimming. Yeah. Well, it was really hot, so I was like, I want to go swimming. And also, that shark is um harmless. And also, and also, also. It wasn't, when we went swimming, we were nearer the shore. <laughs> so it was fine. Sort of that weird hiccup. So yeah. I wanna do some trees here. just screeching outside. I don't know how fast you have to be going to screech that loudly on a little tiny road outside. Goodness. So how's everyone doing? You all still good? Has everyone, like, we've got more viewers so I don't know if like more people are waking up in America because I think um, most of my viewers are in America. Bye, Color Holtz. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, I think like a lot of people are in America who are my subscribers, so probably most people are sleeping whilst I stream.
What do we think of this so far? I think we need a little bit more light, like here. It's 9 a.m. in Utah. Cool. You, <laughs> you're kind of bob rossing it up. How? Because I do whatever. You guys love Bob Ross, man. From Georgia, the country. Yeah, nice. What's it like living in Gibraltar? It's pretty nice. It's super safe here. Um. Yeah, it's a nice place to live, for sure. It's got a good, like, mix of loads of cultures. Um, it's British, but it has, like, you know, its own sort of cultural blend of, like, different Mediterranean countries and, yeah. It's pretty cool here. It's very nice. I've lived here most of my life, so I consider myself Gibraltarian. from the Philippines. Hello. Must be pretty late there over there right now, right? Room. Hello, America. So cool. There's so many people from ev all over. I'm using a Logitech HD camera. Um, it's pretty good, but I think like maybe my internet is not good enough for it. But it's it's all right. It's like um medium price, I would say, camera. Because you could probably get like a lot more expensive camera but and you could get a cheaper one but I went with like the medium price because uh, I know another streamer who uses um, this one so I was like okay that looks nice so I'll use what she uses and yeah it's it's been okay I think it's like took took me a little bit as you can see from the beginning of the stream to figure it out but yeah okay I think I'm gonna call it a day for now um because i'm getting pretty tired i'm gonna finish this up because i think there's a few more things to do but i don't want to overwork it so i think i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then come and look at it later but yeah i'm gonna finish the stream there so thanks for watching guys um i will leave this up for people to watch it in case they want to from the beginning and see what it looked like when I first started to now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty pleased with it. Pretty pleased with it. So these are going to be the two covers and possibly prints as well. I'm not sure yet. And I uh, really like how they're turning out. What do you guys think? 
Ooh, I'm off then. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like or subscribe or also please go visit my my Twitch because then I'm on the road to becoming I I don't know if it's partnered or affiliate, I don't know what the word is, but they're like stream on five different days and have more than four people watching you every time. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I'm trying that. So if you can follow me there, that'd be really nice of you. And that's it. So thank you guys and have a good rest of your day or evening, night. Thank you guys. It was great hanging out. I'll be sure to stream 